help him. And yet, he was completely lost. He didn't know what to do without him. So far, the only thing he had found was a purpose to get lost. So, he decided to find him. He looked for him in the parking lot, in the neighborhood, in the park, but still, with no luck, he was still determined to find him. Not. He gave up the search and headed home. To distract himself, he decided to play the keyboard, Mean, meaning he made the keyboard play itself. But he couldn't distract himself because he was really missing him. song. Even the song picturization is amazing. I think I can do better. Much better. Okay, who are you talking about? He's missing me? Alright. But who is he? Who is he? Is that even question to be asked when he's searching for you in the mailbox? Who is he? Really? You're asking that when he's looking for you even in the trash can? Hey, hey dude, are you crazy? What are you doing? Did you know that the first post office in the U.S. was in a bar? Did you also know that? Did you also know that until the mid 19th century, male recipients, yes, recipients, had to pay for all this postage that they had got. Thankfully, that changed, or else my father would have been bankrupt by now, paying for all this junk mail we get. It is very ironical. On one end, we're striving to save trees, save paper, and on another end, we're wasting all of that on these meaningless paper ads. Oh, him! Yes, I know him. But I don't like him. He just nags. He's sloppy. He doesn't re respect himself nor the time. I've never seen him do the right thing at the right time. There's no planning and there is no focused effort. Aha! At least now he remembers him. He's right. We all know who created this mess. And that is... Him! He had taken a shower and cleared up the mess. Though not on the floor, but in his head. And had decided to resume his search. Well, starting with his shirt search. This time, he was confident to find him. So, 
he started looking in. The magazines? Dude, I don't think you'll find him in the magazines. random people wait wait what what is he doing now dude dude walking at 2x speed on a random bit will not get you any closer to him step back and think does he really like, 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 like you It's not that I don't like him, it's just that I can't be with him anymore. I can't be like him anymore. Even I know that he doesn't like to be that way. It's summer break! There are so many fun things to do like biking, Skateboarding, going to the library. There is no fun flicking on Netflix. Well, <laughs> he did try going to the skate park yesterday. You should see it yourself. He was sitting idle until his mother forced him to go to the skate park. And well, he did. But his mother did not tell him what to do at the skate park, you see? And so, yes, he went, but he did not skate. He didn't even bother to look at the others. We should learn from others, not compare oneself with the others. Because that usually leads to competition. Healthy competition is definitely good, but it often leads to jealousy. was his moment. He made up his mind to change. To change to become him. Change to become the better guy. He decided to change one step at a time. He started planning his next day with tangible and fun-filled goals, like playing the piano, skateboarding, biking, <laughs> cleaning up the mess, visiting the library, Nothing stressful, but everything that makes him complete. Everything that makes him accomplished. And that he called morph. A short form for metamorphosis. He also had a new thought. With the new haircut, would I become a new me today? This is me today, that was me yesterday, 
things change for the good, you see. In general, change is always good. All right, folks, catch you later. I need to go to the library now. As Mahatma Gandhi once said, be the change that you wish to see in the world.